Hello and welcome to Tantrum House Studio Awesome. I'm Ryan. And I'm Katie. And today we'll be taking a look at Sea of Plunder coming to Kickstarter soon. Sea of Plunder is a game of nautical adventure for two to four players from Three Nail Games. What we're looking at today is the prototype, so some components may change in the final production. In Sea of Plunder, each player takes on the role of a merchant ship who is sailing the sea in search of treasure and trade goods while trying to avoid pirates and other nautical dangers. At the beginning of the game, each player starts on one of the four islands on the board with a magical compass token five supply cards, and a goods card that corresponds to their starting island. A pirate ship is placed in the middle of each quadrant, and a treasure island is placed in the very center of the board. Each player begins their turn by drawing two cards, one of which can be from the discard pile. If they draw any events, they continue to draw until they have two non-event cards. Then they resolve any events at the end of the draw phase. There are two main events to take note of. Magical Compass, which gives each player another Magical Compass token, and Tales of More Treasure, which adds another treasure island to the game board. After drawing cards and resolving events, players can play a card. Movement cards allow you to move your ship according to the map indicated, and if you use a Magical Compass token, you can ignore the default orientation of the north on the card. Port Island cards allow you to teleport directly to the island depicted. Action cards allow you to take a special action. After playing a card, players must discard an additional card to move a pirate of their choice according to that card's usual movement. So movement is the biggest part of this game. Trying to run across things that you want to hit and avoiding the things you don't want to hit. Um, no, regardless, if you ever cross paths with anything, something is going to happen. So like, if you run over the treasure island, you'll be collecting treasure. If you run over just regular islands, you'll, islands, you'll get goods. Um, if you run across other players, um, you, you're having a battle. And then if you get run over by a pirate ship or if you accidentally run through their space, then you're looking at losing some of your stuff. Play continues until the round in which uh, one player has achieved three treasures, or the pirates have achieved six, and then you tally up all of your points, treasures, unused magical compasses, and sets of different good types are all worth points, and debt tokens that you got from the pirates are worth negative points. Yeah, so there are a lot of neat things in this game, but one of my favorite parts is the restricted movement. Um, you have movement based on your cards, and sometimes that just doesn't allow you to do much. Um, but when you do get to do something really good, it can be really amazing. Um, so I just, I really love that. Also thought it was kind of neat that the islands kind of move around the treasure islands so that there is a chance that island will be close to you when it moves and you can just run back over it again really fast. I also really liked the restricted movement and how it gets you thinking very strategically. I liked that the game kind of escalates because more treasure islands come out as the game goes on and you have to be really flexible in what you're going to do. Also, the pirate ships, being able to move those around really keeps you on your toes. If you're looking for a light strategy game with some set collection, check out Sea of Plunder on Kickstarter soon. This is just going to be B-roll, so. Oh. Okay. Ready? Is that <laughs> how you want to start your face? <laughs> no. Right. What we're going to look at today is what? <laughs> Nothing. I just oh. had an itchy neck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? Nothing. <laughs> you look at me weird when no, I messed I don't. up. Okay, one more time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, thought more, I thought there was more you were going to say. 